Uh, lastly, as a Syracuse couple, you're married to a Syracuse alum as well. Uh, just your thoughts on what this university, and Coach Mack is here in the room too, what the, what the football program built up over time and now as we're talking about the next 10 years of the NFL and you see a guy who you know, Doug Marone, take over as the head coach here, where you see Syracuse over the next decade in terms of trying to continue to be what it was in Coach Mack's days and early in Coach Pasqualoni's days, a great place for future NFL players to play and come to school as well. Well, I, you know, I kind of look at it for the next 10 years to come and being a launching pad for a lot of the high school, top high school athletes uh, wanting to be a part of such a prestigious university, not just because of the athletes, but the academics as well. Uh, and now you throw the athletic side of things in there where you're involving Doug Maroon, you're involving uh, my, uh, Beheim, you're involving uh, the lacrosse team, you're involving all of these particular sports that, that are really starting to stand out. And in 10 years from now, I expect us to be up in the upper echelon in the, in the top one, two, or three rankings in every sport because we have that athletic background where guys are starting to want to go back to the Syracuse you know, tradition, want to be a part of, of the things that, uh, you know, with guys like Tim Brown and, and Floyd Little and Ernie Davis and uh, all those guys were a part of it. And then you bring in the Marvin Harrison, the, you know, the Kevin Johnsons, uh, the Rob Moores. Uh, the Marvin Grays and me being a part of that, you know, and then now you talk about 10 years from now where they probably wouldn't remember who I was when I played uh, because I'm so young. Uh, <laughs> you know, being 23, you know, being, being young. So they wouldn't remember me, but they would establish a name for themselves. And, and when you have a great coach like Doug Maroon who started us out in the right direction and is going to continue to get stronger and stronger as his recruiting class gets a lot better. Uh, I expect uh, all of the Syracuse alums to be at that national championship game 10 years from now for well, rooting on our football team. Well, you say hi to the second best point guard in women's basketball history at Syracuse. Tell her I was asking for her, and I will, uh, I'll see you in a few weeks. <laughs> oh, the second, the second, well, no, you know the deal. Now. For those of you, Donovan married Roxy, who was Roxy Nurse at the time, and she was a point guard at Syracuse. And she's about four years, five, maybe five years after. I met my wife, who was a point guard at Syracuse. So, so, the, so the deal is, Roxy's the second best point guard ever at Syracuse. Otherwise, the locks are changed at my house when I go home. So I always try to be safe. Hey, uh, not, not, the, not the best day to hook up, and that's why you're the best, and I appreciate it. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Donovan. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, sir. Donovan is having